We've got two players who are going to play a mystery tournament match. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Check him out. Trambles versus Mundungu. Uh, Mundungu's been around forever. See that? Just below this very pixelated ape <laughs> in the bottom left. 17th edition. Oh. That means Mundungu has joined all 17 mystery tournaments. Yeah, there's, there's no special, like... I don't know what these are called, actually. The, the thing that says Racer OG. OG just means they were in MT1, but Mundungu wasn't even only in MT1, but also joined every single one since then. Yeah, he's an OG and an NG and everything in between. <laughs> are we back to Cardi Gladys? <laughs> Zhao versus Jack. Jam and Jan. Zhao. Uh, we are very simplistic folks, Maurice. We, <laughs> we, we don't offer much. <laughs> Strambles has finished ninth, I think, more than once. Is a absolute top tier player. Has a very, very high win rate of 71%. Either of these players is the sort of player who can make top eight. Undug has done it three times before. Strambles just on the cusp, despite this higher win rate. Maybe an advantage of, of playing earlier when the competition was less stiff on Mundungu's part. But only one of them gets the chance to go the distance. One of them is going home. This is an elimination match. And I think this is a loser seven match, yeah. which means it's like the longest road that anyone left in the tournament has to get to top eight. And we can have a quick look. Both of them have lost once. Mandango has won a little more. It's lost earlier. The Shrambles Chuck's Temple. Oh, that was... <laughs> Chuck's Temple was the... Uh, breakout. Very weird game. Oh, okay. Uh, all that's left. Uh... Old man jumping around on desert platforms in the sky it makes little robots oh the yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an interesting race like from where you can save time and where you should maybe be careful because you can't really save much time compared to the risk you would make if you tried to <laughs> yeah where you can save time and where you shouldn't save time yeah blade twin swords got the win in nail and scale that was a. Uh, we've talked about this game before. You like throw nails and then jump on them, and you compare it to oh, the yeah. same game. Spear. I Spear. I compared yeah. it to Spear. And then the Whitley was where Shrambles finally lost in Wormatozoa. Sure. Not... Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it was kind of exciting because everyone kind of thought, okay, well, this is where the Whitley is finally going to drop down to the loser's bracket. But no, the Whitley holds on, is still in the winner's bracket. And that sent Shrambles down here to face Mandungu. And yeah, Mandungu, who won against Rickery and Safe Cracker, one of my favorite pinball machines. Very interesting take on pinball because in instead of giving you three ball, uh, you instead have a timer. And then once you clear the pinball, you get into this weird board game on the back. And of course, this is a completely different game, but there is a pinball machine called Safe Cracker. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of pinball y, it turned out. Uh. It was a really weird match. The ball was like spawning differently for one of the players for reasons we couldn't quite figure out. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was the one where you like turned everything and tried to hit all the switches or whatever. Yeah. And then defeated Marshmaster in a, a pretty close race of the sequel to Grabanaki, Spooky Naki. A kind of a level pack, I would almost call it. Yeah. Um, fell to Pika Pals, who is currently sitting in top eight, I believe, this tournament, in Stargrove Scramble. Let me just double check that. Yeah, yeah, Pika made top I eight. I can confirm you that, you're, that you are correct. That's the voice of none other than Tea Party Cthulhu. Hello. Hi, I came here because I tested this game that, that they're going to be playing. Yeah, I, I was like, I saw you join, and I was like, they must be playing something TPC is interested in. And then I glanced down, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> it's not a um, TPC sub. It is not. It could have been. It was on my list to check out. Mandungu also defeated Boney in the world's slowest paced race of Shepherd of Light. Game about counting. 
Count the sheeps. Don't get the count wrong. Do, don't leave them behind. Do the same puzzle 20 times in a row. And then I didn't see... Uh, this was a pretty recent match. Dormians versus Mundung. A game of Ukul's Japan Kaiki. This is one of the races I had to record when I got back home. Uh... I don't know. I didn't know I missed one since then. Comes as a surprise to me. Then it shall remain a mystery. <laughs> I don't give uh, I don't give the edge to either of these two players. I think it's going to be a, a pretty even match. All right, let's have a look. TBC, what's this game? Oh no, you called on me when I was eating a pretzel with peanut butter in it. <laughs> this is the Legendary Axe 2 on the PC Engine, aka the TurboGrafx-16. Um, you know, we've seen some retro platformers in this tournament so far. Maurice, you've even played one. Right. Yeah, this is a uh, very, very retro platformer. Rings of Power? Called? Jewel Master. Yeah, you played Jewel sure. Master. Sure, same thing. Which I also tested. Rings of Power is the Lord of the Rings show that's out oh. right now. <laughs> Same thing. Look at this leg. This wall <laughs> leg. <laughs> yeah, get, get ready for the wall leg. All right, here we go. Race starting. So th this looks to be in that same sort of, I almost want to call it a genre of uh, like Conan and Volgar the Viking and Rastan and all that. Just a big muscle dude who walks. A guy walks right. And swings the sword. I think we started so late. Yeah, it might be stream delay. Hopefully. Oh, leave these little jump attacks from Mondongu. Much more comfortable oh, with this... the controls right at the gate. Oh, this is like a Symphony of the Night. Yeah, it's very, very strong in this game. It's gonna, ha... it's gonna be how you're taking out the early enemies. Um, later on, that that does not get to be the the, the case. Oh, different weapon. Oh my God, that's fast. <laughs> yes, there are different weapons. There's a number of different weapons, and you can level them up, so they they get to be a little different. Um, I'm actually gonna pin the pace bin because I don't remember you all can them. Jump, attack. There's a screen clearing bomb that you have limited amounts of. Oh, it's loaded the raw pace bin. That's not right. Okay, that's sure. Yeah, so there's a sword, a kunai chain, axe. They are all different. They all have different properties. You can improve their damage and level, uh, uh, damage and range by uh, grabbing an extra power above it. So, it's there's like a trade-off here between like trying different weapons and seeing how they work versus collecting the same weapon over and over and powering it up right off the bat. Yes, and also deaths will reset all the levels on your weapon. Oh my god, look at this. They, they do have infinite lives. Terrifying. Yeah, this is a, definitely a retro platform boss because you just get moves left and right and jumps. Bungu gets the kill first, despite that, you know, 10 second stream delay or whatever. They use different weapons to get the job done. Uh, what do you think, Maurice? Would you be like, I'm going to get a level 3 weapon or whatever immediately? Or would you want to try stuff? I would just get level 3 and use it as long as I can. Yeah, That's since we gave you infinite lives, like, you know you're probably going to die at some point, especially because this is a retro platformer. Oh, you can also jump on enemies, by the way. That is important. Um, yeah. So, like, you're going to naturally be experimenting and trying out the weapons anyway, because, like, they don't have all the weapon power-ups in every stage at every area. So, might as well just keep the most powerful one that you can. Is there anything on the UI that tells you, like, what levels weapon you're at or anything? Uh, at the top, there's a bar. It's kind of, like... That's not flashing. What would you call that? Like a, it's like a moving it's gradient. Doing the Atari yeah. thing. Yeah, that's, it's the Atari thing. Yeah, that's it, exactly it, it's it. like a 2600 <laughs> over there. <laughs> okay, so Mundungu's got level 3 sword and Trambos has got level 2 whip. Yeah, I, I definitely I like the thing has Kunai a chain a lot. 100% does this Kunai thing have chain. a name? Sure. It's uh, Kunai with chain. Oh, it's what it, that's the name? Yes, or, uh, so it's in sure. the basement. Well, I don't fully trust the pace bin on this matter, but... There should also be a pace bin note here on this stage. To beat level 2, climb up as much as possible. So where we saw the 
the platforms over to the right that, um, I, I don't know if you saw them. I'm pretty sure I saw them on screen, uh, that they're platforms that move up. We need to jump on them to get to get through the stage. I did not see them. You fall pretty fast and some stuff zipped by. But falling down and then going left certainly felt weird. Now both players have hit a dead end and are... Mundunga's going back. Shrambles doesn't want to accept that backwards might be the answer. Oh no. Here are the Yeah, platforms. we have a lot of platforming. They took forever to what? appear. They weren't there. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't appear immediately for me, but I kind of stuck around a bit. Probably spawn like from the top of the screen when you reach this section and you go wait for them. <laughs> Maybe. Man, eat your heart out, Lion King. This is <laughs> this is maybe harder than that even. You do jump really high. It's like Bible Adventures with the <laughs> the Jesus and the Temple game that's the Mario 2 one. What was it? Was there like a Rocky and Bullwinkle game that had a bunch of logs? Uh yeah, the the NES one, I think. Yeah. Is it the one with the like unlistenably bad music? <laughs> yeah. That is the NES game. I don't remember yeah. if that's the one with the <laughs> I don't waterfalls. It's that one. I don't think it's the best oh. one, at least. Yeah, oh. we have we have a long ways to go. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, you don't lose weapon levels. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. For some reason I thought three was max. I yeah, think I think it's I five is max. At some point. I think I just made that up. And my right, is at the end of the climbing section. Yeah, it's gone left. Shrambles here as well. Very close. No, 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 wait. Shrambles gotta go higher. No, no, no Shrambles just doesn't know that as high as it gets. Yeah. Now he knows. Does Mundungu know? It was... Uh, the there's more left. No, there's more left. Mm. Sees I'm the sure ceiling. What's the plan? Is the plan to go to the right? Hasn't seen very up and very right, I think. Yeah, you, you, you must you have seen up. the platform to the left. Yes, you can whip up. It's very useful. Look at that. It's so fast, the attack animation. It's like we have a lot of HP. Yes, definitely. There's also like a lot of health power-ups that drop. Yeah, sure, I'm just uh, At least for now. All the health back. Aggression from Undungu, just running past a lot of this stuff, has caught up to Shrambles, who did not turn around and investigate the waterfall again. I credit a lot of the success to these short hop moving attacks. I Shrambles actually, I gone. personally found jumping on enemies was actually really helpful, a lot more than you think it would be in a game like this. Yeah, when, you, when your attack has got decent range and is incredibly fast, you would think it would be great at killing everything. Oh, but... great. That's another nightmare fuel. <laughs> another There's very like a... normal boss. It's just a little guy inside a big face. Oh! Oh! Mandango is dead. Level 4 weapon going all the way down to level 1. Shramble's got a health upgrade at some point. But has less weapon power. Oh, what gets so... the boss? <laughs> oh! The health! Look at the health! It matters. Crucial. And also, Shrambles picked up that health refill just before us. You know, because Mandangu's. Mandangu walked right past it. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I, I think, as I said, I credit Mandangu's success with this aggression and just willingness to plow forwards while it turned out to be the thing that was kind of the undoing here. Back down to a level one weapon against this boss. So, does your level. Uh, your weapon level up every time you switch? Yeah. Uh, yes. Any any weapon powers it up as well as oh. switching if necessary. Because Shrambles is refusing to pick up anything. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's gonna, avoid I it. like it's gonna try to avoid this. the sword. No, no, I, sword. I like the sword for this section anyway. There's gonna be some kind of like assholeish enemies later that the sword is really good at taking out. Mundungu it just has a good range. With a level one sword, maybe you should poke around on these platforms and try to find an upgrade. Mm. We also oh, had an leg. case spin. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's where. Leg. Here's where no Wallach arm. Out. Like a dinosaur in there. Like. 
Uh, yeah, oh. something something important that we, that we had is that uh, there are also screen clearing bombs in this game, which is kind of weird. It's like a starburst thing that you pick up. Uh, these don't carry between your lives, so Ooh. like... It is a drag. It, it's going to be interesting to see when the players end up using the bombs, if they use it at all. I definitely used it. I use it on the stage 3 boss, actually. It's like five of these dragons in the... That's a, a good boss fight from Ndungu, by the way. Got on top of the boss and was like bouncing around on top, which was a good way to deal damage while not getting hit. That was pretty clutch. This could have, you know, stuck Mundungu for a while trying to kill a boss with a really weak weapon. I want this making sure to kill everything, and they sometimes drop these moons, which give you one HP. Yeah, I believe every enemy drop is fixed as well. Castlevania. Yeah. That's yeah, good. all the enemy drops are fixed. Oh, another moon. I mean, it's working out, keeping level 4 weapon. Yeah, keeping your weapon level is definitely very crucial. It's just because it, it really makes a huge amount of difference, especially if you can keep it all the way to the boss. <laughs> Mondungu with a, a rope and rodeo bounce across like five enemies, slashing the sword as he goes. <laughs> I like it. I didn't, I didn't do that. Maybe is... just gonna try and turbo oh, his way to the not checkpoint. There's, yeah, not, there's uh, so that, many dinosaurs many in these vaults. Uh, is it just many... one oh. creature back there that's like the length of the entire stage with 50 limbs and oh, two that's heads? That's a chain and... for its Shrimals. Could upgrade to level 5 if it can reach us. Any? I think you killed the enemy too high. Gotta jump from the second stair, I think. I think this might work. Go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. No visible that's change in the huge weapon. Range. Like. I guess it's a little longer. Maybe it's damage. Yeah, but I don't know. When I oh, get no. to the max level of a thing, I want to see like a big flaming or something. You know, I want to feel it. Max level. That sword is definitely super good because these guys are really annoying. And yeah, I, feel like I had them keep blocking my kunai. You can see the power up with the sword at least. Oh my god, these bumps are huge. Yeah, the wave is a little, a little more flashy. Well, look, I mean, mundungu has got the level 2 sword. It doesn't look all that different. Oh, no, we got these, oh these guys will start blocking you, by the way. Skeletons um, from Zelda. How I dealt with them is I just sat there and mashed Crouch Stab, and they would eventually just kind of run into it. Just like Zelda 2. Yeah. The choice to go to an axe, which Trembles, I think, has never used before. He's going to leave it behind. I did not like the axe, personally, so... Ouch. Oh. It is in the title. Oh, no. it is, it is oh, this is what you do, but axe. Oh, in the slime, he finds the tiniest jump over the tiniest axe. Well done, Shrambles. Picking up some HP. Important. Yeah, I found this boss really hard, so we'll see if we can maybe eke out a first try clear. So Mundungu's got a level 3 weapon. Does not have as much max health, but currently has 5 health. Oh, level 4 axe is where we are now. Oh, sun is good. Full HP for Shrimals. Ooh. Axe is just a small sword. It, yeah, it, it does more damage. It doesn't even fly in an arc. <laughs> Get the hell. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, he's tiny. Yeah, I'll be honest, I had no clue how to like actually fight this boss, like in a good way. It just works. So I just spammed a bunch of bombs on it. Yeah, this does work, I guess. I also did not have level 5 sword. Problem is, the screen is probably gonna stop scrolling at some point. Oh! Now the boss transformed into a ball. Alright. Mundunga with one less health and a level 4 axe instead of a level 5 sword against this boss. Oh, it's doing like oh, small bounces. Just trading hits. Gonna... Oh, barely. Oh, Mundunga isn't gonna clear this. No. He doesn't even get to the ball. It would have been amazing if he had. It would have been a huge catch up, but I mean, the boss is. This hitbox is everywhere. You can't just go nuts like that. The we're, we're seeing a classic tortoise and hare situation. Slow and steady seems to be winning this race. The tortoise is a cheater. <laughs> the tortoise is a cheater by continuing to move. He has a shell. Doesn't, isn't the, the original like story that he has his friend wait at the finish line? I'm pretty sure, yeah, you just like cheated or something. I don't know. I thought, the, I thought it was all about the hare being so cocky that he falls asleep and... That's why the I think the that's that's like the adjusted. 
In the original uh, version... Fairy tale in, is a nightmare when you <laughs> look at the original. In the original version, Shrambles has like a friend playing the game right now, getting to the end quickly. Like level code or something. And then he switches over the stream. <laughs> oh my god, that's a... The massive brain maneuver. <laughs> so I think that was a bomb Shrambles just got. And maybe they don't go yes. beyond three. Um, no, I'm pretty sure you could pick up more because I had like four. Because I was Shrambles out fishing one. for them. Oh, I don't test four. Yeah, I know. They, they don't carry is. between your lives. I don't remember what that exactly means because I, I literally blew them all <laughs> in the Sage Sleep boss. I was assuming that would mean they would refill every time you died. I don't think that was the case. Well, I could see it being the case, though. Doesn't even get to the bus this time. Yeah, that was not so good. I mean, doesn't have the the weapon, right? Had a level 4 axe, now it's a level 1 sword, up to a level 2 axe doesn't here. Have, doesn't have the HP either. that Trembles is having. Yeah, Trembles is playing this, that. like, incredibly, just, like, keeping the sword, because, like, these little dragon guys would take, uh, like, three hits to kill otherwise. Six bombs. Yes. I don't think Shrambles has even used a bomb. No. Well, no, I could have swore not. that he had three earlier. Like, earlier than we saw him grab one and still have three. Which is why I thought that it's it capped. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Does every platform fall? No, no, no. Some... I was thinking the same, yeah. but no. It's just like... It's always some... two on the edge. Okay. But it's it's not consistent which ones it is. This is level four and three. Uh, frankly, the players are crushing this goal. I was not nearly as good at this. Got the sword. Alright, the boss fight attempt here, level 2 axe, 5 health. Well, yeah, that's good. Does the boss ever just, like, stop doing its thing? Ouch! Trambles is trying to do a short hop to approach in, in the air so that he can do his attack wind-up in the air so it hits as soon as he's within range, but it hasn't got the rhythm to it down yet so it just keeps like jumping into the boss or missing it's a good idea God. but it's really not easy to execute and trambles is probably almost done with his level <laughs> forever on this stupid it's very long level. level it is another really kind of weird contract. thing is that uh platforms conserve your momentum whenever you jump off of them mm -hmm. and like you don't have that much air control in this game so like it's it's kind of weird making some of the jumps <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird to think that you can just do that gigantic jump oh, that Shrambles just did. Switching to chain. Yeah, Shrambles likes the chain. Alright, Mundungu again on the boss. So I, I guess the, the optimal thing to do... Oh, Shrambles is kind of nailing it now. I love Short hop attack. You mean Mandungu. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Um, yes, Mandungu. So, the the optimal play here, I guess, would be to play like Mandungu in the stages and then play like Shrambles on the boss fights. <laughs> Mandungu is like, okay, I'm not here. Boss is dead. I, I missed this part of the fight even. What do you mean? This was. Shrambles almost died to this. It was really <laughs> close. I mean, it's this is scary. Wow, that was good. I was being chased by like a giant, almost sentient ball. I think it would be pretty scary. Yeah, and it's like sometimes bouncing high, everyone. sometimes low. And, like, how would you ever know? Yeah. Sometimes he follows you. Like, if you hit him, like he reacts. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Every time I thought I saw a pattern to the high-low bounces, it proved wrong. Like two, one, nope. Oh my god, Shrebels can't make it up these platforms. You gotta jump to the platform. There's a platform on the left, right there. Now, do you want to jump early with momentum from the platform, or do you just want to go as far as possible? Uh, I always use the momentum jumps, because they were fun. Oh, well, it's definitely more distance yeah. if you use the momentum. That was awesome. Seven screen clears. Only one for Mundungu. Oh, oh my god. Back down here. I 
Shrambles at three health. Shrambles has not been down to like weapon level one or whatever since the beginning of the race, more or less. Shrambles accidentally tossed the bomb. Uh, <laughs> run out of time? I don't know because I never did. They give you nine minutes and it's down to Sonic level four. It just looks like a boss run. Oh. Yes. Oh, this boss was what? also a nuisance. I mean, we've got five bombs. I used a lot of bombs on this boss. Oh my god, oh, it's, no. we're playing Pang it's now. It's going to spawn a lot of enemies, by the way. Playing Pang now. Well, unless the enemies drop on top of you, it seems like just kind of standing in the middle and whipping all over the place is going to get the job done. You want to kill the... Oh! Dropping harder enemies. Oh, flashing. Shrambles is getting way better RNG on this than I did, <laughs> definitely. It was dropping those night enemies like every single time for me. Mm -hmm. What I haven't quite figured out is if you need to get hits on the boss to deal damage or if just killing anything that pops off of the boss is sort of considered damage. I believe HP? it's the actual bots you have to hit. Okay. HP. There are five of those things up there. Oh my god. Oh. So Mundungu traditionally does better with the stages. Down to two health, a level three sword, five bombs. One HP, but the... Oh no! Was... Oh no. It was flashing for so long. Rambles has been fighting so hard and being so careful not to end up in this situation, but now has to make it work with without any of those resources from the previous attempts. Oh yeah, I lost uh, bonus life as well. Yeah, I lost all the bombs. Oh yeah, wow. Lost everything. Bombs don't carry between lives. Maybe it always goes to zero after you? No, that's not true. Yeah, I have no idea. I think bombs just do carry between broken. lives is what I would... how I would phrase it. So Mundungu is on some of these same jumps now, I think. I don't know, maybe it's a little different. Yeah, that's a huge catch-up for Mundungu. You can just go straight up here, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can make the jump. Scared a little, a little oh, dragon you, dude. Oh, you can make it if you get uh, hit. <laughs> Damage boosted, yeah, definitely. But I think you can just cleanly get up there. So where's... If not, then you go to the very right, and there's a section you can jump up. Um, have there been there? There has been at least like some checkpoint in the stages. Is it just the like one each time? I want to say it's two. I know this stage we had to actually. Did we add that placement note about the checkpoint that's here? Oh, oh boy! I almost picked up the. X. I thought we did. What the hell? Okay. I'm like 99% sure that we added a pacement note about where the checkpoint was here, but both the players got it. If you like, Internet Digital had an issue where if he didn't go all the way to the left at one point, the checkpoint didn't spawn for him. Oh. I almost has the X now. Level 3 axe. Bonk. I mean, maybe uh, this uh, will spawn less height. enemies? You think? Oh, wait! If you hit the it's already real one, a lot of damage. If you hit the real one, she doesn't fall down. See, the real one is in the middle right now, on the right now. Yeah. Get that one. Oh, that was easy. Dead. Wow, that was a really fast kill. As long as you're just careful to only hit the real one. Yeah, but I mean, it could be the kind of boss where there isn't a real one. You know, like hitting any of them is just good enough. Nope. Yeah. You do have to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, just love... just play smart. The little end of screen animation oh my God, what the the <laughs> it's awesome. so cute so here is the final level of the goal now we're in the alien mothership yeah definitely inside of something right now yeah i i don't know the story of that this just random pc engine nonsense oh, oh i thought you were back to six hp okay. yeah it has a level three weapon which is pretty good Good enough to shred that boss. Mundungu also with a level 3 weapon. Full health. 
I saw some platforms up there, so this is not where the boss is. Oh my god. Okay, let's just jump up, explode, and rain gore on you. <laughs> yeah, this... This back in this era of games where, like, they just have you, like, go inside of people and just, like, it'd be really gross for, like, no reason. <laughs> like, what does this have to do with any of the rest of the game? They're just going for their... their aesthetic. Uh, Mundungu, I think, is on this big jump now that was giving Tramble so much trouble. Oh, the wind, the wind! Oh, that's so rude! Yeah, the little dragon. Also, because this is a retro platformer, a lot of the enemies stay at the perfect range that you can't hit them with the kunai. If you're just on the ground and aim up, it's like a pixel too far. I know the fairies do that, and like this little, I guess, gargoyle thing also does it. It's, uh, yeah. it's pretty difficult to deal with. Montungu jumps off the platform just to get one hit, and I was hoping that, you know, the enemy is not despawning and respawning with full health or something. As it comes back around on the platforms once again, maybe just to score one more hit. It's definitely, it like, the, ol the only way to do this section. You do knock them back when you hit them, though, so you could probably shoo them away from the platform as you jump to it. <laughs> An enemy jumped up, exploded <laughs> itself to hurt Trammels, but dropped a health pickup while doing so. <laughs> so, like, the enemy's entire existence amounted to nothing. It was a worthless sacrifice. It can be nice, too. Exploding guys can be nice. Uh, Trammels purposely didn't pick up the chain. He's now a friend of the sword. I don't yeah. know if I agree with this just because of how much he's attacking upwards right now. Honestly, the sword does have some verticality on, on the swing. Yeah. I guess maybe it just looks like it does. I, some enemies I think it should does. die to it don't. It definitely does. Yeah, it's got some, but not as, oh as my, much as what? it looks, I think. It's the Pokemon. <laughs> Doduo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is that just a big eye? I think it's one head with just a, it's just one weird head. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a checkpoint, hopefully. Hopefully, yes, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this is. Looks like yeah, it. it's right before you jump. It's right before you jump down. And Dungu with the big jump takes a hit, but lands and then falls. Oh boy. We still got to see this boss from Undungu too. Not a good attempt from Shrambles. And when you get caught in these slimes, you gotta jump three times. Third time releases you. Oh, Shrambles with a super early jump on top of the Gargoyle. You mean Mandungu? Yes. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, the star is the one. Oh, it's up your health. Good knowledge. Four health. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> yeah, star is a is like a heal and a max health plus one. It's just, uh, it's just really tough to internalize the momentum preservation thing of these platforms. There we go, Mundungu's got it now. Uh, Shrambles, some bad stuff happening. Yeah, this red, red stuff hurts. Yeah, it's, it's real annoying to do. Oh my with. god. These chickens just take over the entire screen when they show up. Oh, Mundungu gets the jump just barely. Get the health. Okay. Level four axe, five health. Has never seen this boss before. We know you just want to hit the main one. And five bombs. Uh, which one's the main one? The one on the left? Yeah. Oh, it's like middle-ish. What's left? Middle. Oh, that Oh, that will show you the real boss. Oh, Mundungu doesn't know. Absolute chaos. I mean, I I wouldn't think that this is a thing where one of them is real. I would think this is just like a like, like a Hydra situation. Keep cutting yeah, off heads. I was I was unsure. I was aware of both possibilities. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's chicken bouncing around in the pit, accidentally bumps into shrambles. 
<laughs> jump down here, the whole floor is slime. Uh huh. Does. Kai and characters. I guess. They just put up traps that you uh, can't find. It is. <laughs> it, it is. They put that's up traps? Is that what you said? News, that's news to me. Traps that you can't avoid. I... For the for the bad yeah, guy? Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> I, I feel like you've seen one and it happened in that one. Well, no. Yeah, it's it's just just didn't I didn't even see one like that. It's just like a thing. <laughs> I, I, I just made up something. Again. I'm just going to say that it is. All right, boss fight for Mandungu. That's the real one on the left. Mandungu is hitting everything. Yeah. I mean, it's a reasonable thought, right? Like, even if it's not the boss, you're at least clearing out this these things that are in your way. But really what it's doing is just giving you a bunch of things to deal with. Yeah, no. Being the real The real one is on the right. Oh, it's like attacked you. Yeah, yeah, it actually does like the attack patterns too. Oh, it's flashing. But why is it flashing? Like, does Mandango know that he hit the real one? I feel like once or twice towards the end I saw Mandango going towards what I thought was the real one. Oh my gosh, these enemies are really tough for Shrambles to deal with. This guy in the pit down there, chicken across the pit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. When the chicken attacks, that's like pretty screen filling. Yeah, it's it's really hard to deal with. There's too many. Oh. Oh, there's a second checkpoint. Yeah, the longer stages will have a few. Check I know stage six had a ton. This was originally submitted with stage six as the goal, but it was just. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Shrambles with a health upgrade. Mundungu again in this boss fight. Real one on the right. Mundungu hits everything. Yep. So you can slash the body parts that pop out of the exploding zombie, but there's a lot of them. Oh, I got this chicken. Yeah, you can slash a lot of projectiles in this game, actually. Ah. Worm comes down from the ceiling. Okay. A little poor sword, 3 HP. Back to Swordland. Maybe, maybe farm a little here? Seems like these uh, exploding guys spawn forever. Oh my yeah, god, there's I mean, two that chickens. Is an option. It's, uh, the pace button does say, you know, oh, the star. enemies. Oh, it didn't refresh. Seven health. Didn't refresh everything. It's, yeah, yeah it's it plus just one. Gives you the one. Oh, but two of the things struck moons. That's plus two HP. This is, I believe, the boss. Boss time. Yes. This is the, the goal the of the. Goal. Yeah. Oh my god. It's Level five sword and so five creepy. health. No bombs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was, was a damage race boss. This That's one. not what Trambles has been destroy. doing. But seems perfectly willing to just jump and hit this thing. Uh, oh, that was a miss jump, ah, though. Yeah, that was a really ah. bad miss jump. Was flashing red? You can see, even though the boss is very red already, was going even redder. Mm -hmm. Oh, another checkpoint. Not the same place uh, Shrine was sponsored. I think this is right before the final drop. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, don't try to walk to the right. That's gonna be another chicken. It's just got immediately, like, completely impossible oh, to deal with. Oh, one HP, the bus is flashing. Ah, oh, I guess it by the bus. Well, this other enemy just celebrates in front of his dead body. <laughs> enemy AI is pretty funny sometimes when, like, unsure what is going on. <laughs> Shrambles drops into the boss fight level 3 sword, 3 health this time. I'll get to the left, it's gonna come really fast. There's like four frames of animation as it crosses the entire screen. It's so weird because the when it swoops left to right at the start, that's so smooth. Mm-hmm. 
level hasn't taken. This giant demon or whatever we're in. I gotta go to the doctor. We are the doctor. <laughs> All right. Doctor Legendary. These stupid you chickens. With chicken. <laughs> If you try to stay away, it throws out this projectile and then chases behind it. So, like, it's. You gotta approach it, but then the bugs on the ceiling drop. Oh, man. Mandango knows. Mandango is going for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> there it is. That's it. Oh, man, it's so easy when you know how, huh? It is satisfying to knock the chicken around when he's inside the pit. <laughs> oh, Shamble's returning to farm, I think. Oh, I like it. I mean, unless you die, then it don't. Uh oh, is that sword gonna despawn? E nope. Wait, no, it's not farm. You have to go to left anyway. Uh, no sword? Oh. Oh, it makes sense because the boss is kind of high. <laughs> I don't if think you can, can hit, hit him it. from the ground with this thing. That would be amazing. Can you? I, I think probably not. But if you could, though. Oh, star and a moon on the right here. So be careful not to pick up the sword. Two moons, full HP on this boss now. Could be oh, a free weapon. Uh, the zombie like pops up, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get to the left! The left! Ah! <laughs> yeah, definitely not from the ground. Maybe the boss doesn't attack if you keep uh, hitting it. No, it eventually like br like has. Oh, it's Super flashing! Just, yes, flashing! Armor. We've got 3 HP and this say, thing's I flashing! Think Maurice, I think Maurice would have made fun of me if I said it, so I'm glad that you said it. Oh, more. there we go! <laughs> That's the kill! Shrambles is moving on in Mystery Tournament 0017. Not yet, not yet. Well, unless there's more to this boss. Done 8! There's not. Then boom. <laughs> not done! Oh, that is right. it. 3550, <laughs> the official SRL time. That's a that's a new one. I don't think we've ever seen done eight yet. <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen? You go oh, for the hockey. enter. Timer and... hockey. Oh, uh, okay. Seen dot dome, comma done. I think I've seen like dot dine. I think <laughs> dot done eight <laughs> is a new one. Dung is already forfeit and cut stream. Was not into Legendary Axe 2, I guess. Congratulations to Mundungu. Made it extremely far in this tournament, all the way to to loser seven. I think there's only like 20-ish people left in the tournament at that point. And one of them left is Shrambles, who is with us right now. Hello. Congratulations. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Um, I, Talk to me about level four, the moving platforms. <laughs> I mean, like, this isn't a game I suspected that would actually keep your momentum. Mm-hmm. It, it, it doesn't feel that way, but it does, and it's just really not intuitive. Yeah, both you and Mundungu would would understandably wait for the platform to go all the way, and then also give yourself a moment to like size up the enemies and be like, oh, are they there? Can I make my jump? And then often that was long enough that the platform would be going the opposite direction. Or like the enemy just decides, I'm going to swoop down exactly at this moment to knock you back down. Yeah, they were pretty good at that. Or you you do land on the ledge and then it just falls because that's <laughs> how they that... made it. Invisible falling mechanic. I love it. <laughs> um, so this race, I would characterize it as um, you being more slow and cautious and Mundungu sort of charging ahead. So would often clear the stages much faster, but would arrive at bosses a little more battered and underpowered and then usually not win, whereas you were usually clearing them i mean i had i think all three of the first bosses i cleared with one hp <laughs> yeah 
I mean, I, 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 I did the old Andy 4-H strategy of play the game as fast as it allows you to without losing multiple progress. And then what, like when you got low on health, you started to kind of turn on the I kind of like, a little more? A little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the pace bin said like, and it, like specific enemies always drop the same power-ups. Which is what I clued into that in the last level. Which is why I went right to try to get like some extra power-ups. Yeah. But knowing that, I mean, like, there was times where it's just like, I didn't need to kill all the enemies, but I did just to make sure they didn't drop anything juicy. Yeah, you frequently would have, like, a an extra max health or extra weapon energy. You were, you were sort of ahead in that way. And I think this was hard enough of a game that those sorts of advantages were, um, were worth it. Yeah, this is, like... Turbo Graphics games, I think they're not known to be forgiving. No. So, so you really. need to take no, definitely not. You need to take every advantage the game gives you. I did recently stream through all of Bonk's adventure, and that game gets real tough at the end right there. Like it was it was surprising for kind of like a mascotty platformer like that. And like this game, I I appreciate how it like forces you to do combat. And a lot of old platforms you can kind of just skip it. <laughs> like even if you like are good at the game but like it, there's just so many reasons to fight in this game just because the item drops uh, what's your favorite weapon I, I i think i do like the whip the best just because of the angled shot and you get a little bit more distance so you can play a lot safer mm -hmm. the axe is probably the speed running weapon because i saw how it killed the, the fourth boss yeah the fourth boss we were it may very have also surprised. just been me. <laughs> it may have just been I was only attacking the real ghost thing the entire time, as opposed to my first attempt where I was just like throwing bombs willy nilly, hoping to get the kill. Uh huh. Yeah. It, when you ignore the other enemy that spawning ghosts, then you don't have to kill any other enemies. So you can you can kind of just hit the boss and then. It becomes a much more manageable thing. <laughs> it seems so obvious in hindsight. Mm -hmm. um, but we were with you, like we were. I both Maurice and I were th very aware, at least, of the possibility that, like, you, you just got to kill everything. Every every enemy you kill is like chopping off a little piece of the boss or something. Eventually, you'll wear it down. Nope. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Um, both of you made the mistake in level two where you fell like all the way down because I, I didn't see any platforms the first time you fell down that waterfall. Yeah, I didn't see any platforms either. And so I was just like, oh, is this going to make me loop around? And then I hit the dead end. It's like, oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it's moments like that that really make you think you're behind. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that you guys actually got an old version of the pace bin because I feel like that's something that we would add. And also, I <laughs> there was another pacement note about like the checkpoints in level three, and there's like a quirk with them that should have been in there. So apparently, you guys got an old version of it. So enjoy. Yeah, thankfully you both found the necessary checkpoints in that long level. Boy, the levels got long towards the end. Yeah, that climbing level in level was it level four? It just felt like it, you kept going up forever. And it didn't help. Mm -hmm. The invis like the the falling platforms just didn't do any kindness to you there. While shambles, you advance to the next round. You're going to be facing uh, the Drake Slayer. Lightning has taken out Captain Drake and is going to be your next opponent. And they never get easier. That's that's the whole point of <laughs> trying to get the top eight. Yeah. So y you. I can I can see you winning that match definitely. Like I decided, I think that's like 50-50 maybe or something. But your opponent after that, the real guardian of top eight, <laughs> drops down from the winner's yes. bracket. It's either Adam Numbers or Andy. I mean, I I took a miraculous win from Adam once. Ooh. Yeah, you're welcome. Was that like some game you submitted or something? It was Clockwork Night. Oh. And just like on a good day. I think I could win. Yeah. 
I can. I, I agree. But I think you could beat Andy as well on a good day. Just on the right game. It's yeah. It, it's just gonna all come down to game poll because they're both of them are heavily favored. So it just, I just need to get the right game. What what a confidence boost it would be though to beat one of those two going in to top eight, right? Like, just think about that. Yeah, imagine being imagine gatekeeping Andy from top eight. Like, wow. But that's not like what the Medal of Honor. <laughs> that's not what the script says. I'm just in the <laughs> same same boat as Arcbliss and Zenic. Mm. Perennial top nine. One of you's got to break out. You know what I mean? It could be you. It could be this year. I'll, I'm hoping for it. But if it doesn't happen, there's always next year. Well, we're rooting for you. Congratulations again, Shrambles. Thanks so much for coming out and racing and for coming to talk to us. Thank you for the commentary. Have a good evening. We got more races. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, do. At any moment. Right now.